A very warm welcome to the Amersham Methodist Circuit YouTube channel and to this service for Christmas Day. So also a very happy Christmas to you all. My name is the Reverend Adam Wells and I am the Superintendent of the Amersham Circuit of the Methodist Church. You are most welcome. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has never overcome it. We celebrate the birth of Jesus, the coming of light into the world, as we sing together. And thanks very much to Matt from our Presswood Church for doing this song for us. Number 201. Good news, good news to you we bring. Alleluia. Good news, good news to you we bring. Ah, hallelujah! News of great joy that angels sing. Ah, hallelujah! Sent a mercy, he has shown us joy to all the world. For us, God sends his only son. Ah, hallelujah! Let earth's dark shadows fly away Alleluia In Christ has dawned an endless day Alleluia Tender mercy He has shown us Joy to all the world For us God sends His only Son Alleluia now God with us on earth resides Alleluia And heaven's doors are open wide Alleluia Send a mercy He has shown us Joy to all the world For us God sends His only Son Alleluia Good news, good news to you we bring Alleluia News of great joy that angels sing Alleluia Send the mercy he has shown us Joy to all the world For us God sends his only son Alleluia Send a mercy, He has shown us joy to all the world. For us, God sends His only Son. Alleluia. For us, God sends His only Son. Alleluia. For us, God sends His only Son. Alleluia. And now let us pray. God, our Creator, for speaking the world into existence, all praise and worship belongs to you. Jesus, light of the world, for becoming like us, that we might become more like you, all praise and worship belongs to you. Holy Spirit of God, present in creation, moving over the face of the world, all praise and worship is rightly given to you. O God, 
our God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we praise, adore and worship you. In Jesus' name, Amen. And a prayer of confession. Loving God, for the times when we are afraid to look at your light, forgive us. For the times when we are slow to forgive and quick to take offence, forgive us. For those things we do which we should not, and those things we don't do and should, forgive us, we pray. For we would hear again the words that Jesus declares to all who come in faith. For Jesus says, your sins are forgiven. Amen. And a collect prayer for today, Christmas Day. Ever living God, whose glory was revealed in the word made flesh. May we who have seen such splendour in the coming of your Son be true witnesses to your self-giving love in the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now we're going to have our two readings, first of all from Isaiah and then a very famous reading from St John's Gospel. I'm reading from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2, 6 and 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and of peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. And this is the word of the Lord. I'm going to read from the Gospel according to John, chapter 1, starting to read at the first verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God who He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only son full of grace and truth 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We turn again to the hymn books, to number 221. While shepherds watched their flocks by night, all seated on the ground. Now may I speak in the name of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. What did you get for Christmas? When we first receive gifts, we may not always know the complete answer, at least not straight away, to that question. Because sometimes a gift is more useful and more personal and it's something for which we gain affection over the years more than ever perhaps we would first realise. In Matthew's and Luke's Gospels we get the infancy stories of Jesus the baby born in the stable because there was no room in the inn. In the reading we had today from St John we get a different account. No angels, no shepherds, no kings, but it paints a much bigger, dare I say it, even a cosmic picture. We see what God has done through Christ, the world made the Word made flesh, God's active word. That through God's active word, creation was spoken or breathed into existence. It's no mistake that the first couple of verses of St John remind us particularly of Genesis. Through him all things were made, for he gives life in the broadest sense to everything. The hymn, of course, being Christ, the Word made flesh. Now without light, almost all life comes to an end. We are told of Jesus, the light of the world. 
The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. We see what God still does in the world. We see that the light continues to shine in the darkness. The beginning of verse 5 changes tense. Verse 4, past tense. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The beginning of verse 5, present tense. The light shines in the darkness. As we just heard. More than this, we see what God through Christ does in the lives of individuals. Consider verse 12. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of a husband, but of God. This power, this power to choose, is given to those who Jesus meets and continues to be given to us in the power of the Holy Spirit. To be a child of God is to be in a relationship with God. A relationship with God the Father through Jesus the Son in the power of the Holy Spirit. But still more. As we see how Christ is in the Gospels and how Christ is also with us. Verse 14, a, a bit at a time. The Word became flesh and lived among us. That in Jesus, God act, God's active Word becomes like us in order that we might become more like Him. And then... And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son. How fantastic that through the person of Jesus we can see God. Finally, he is described as being full of grace and truth. Grace, God's self-giving and redemptive love. And truth that through Christ, the word made flesh, we are equipped to understand the world he made. Now, I submit that all this has to make the gift of Christ the best Christmas gift of all. Amen. In singing the faith, we turn to number 208, to Wesley's fantastic hymn, or carol. Let earth and heaven combine, angels and men agree.
and during our prayers of intercession, when I say, Lord of life and light, will you please respond, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, we pray for your world, the world that you spoke into existence, the world in which we live. And for that world we pray for peace, for peace in the Holy Land, for peace in Jerusalem, for peace between the nations of the world. Lord of life and light, hear our prayer. At this time of Christmas, we pray for our own land, for those who make decisions that affect the lives of many, for our government, for our Queen, conscious as we are that this is the first Christmas since the death of Prince Philip. And so we pray for our land, particularly as we continue to wrestle with the COVID-19 pandemic. Lord of life and light, hear our prayer. And we pray for the church, the church throughout the world as it celebrates the birth of Jesus. The church in our circuit. For all those unable to make it to church this Christmas. And for those who will perhaps attend, although it is not their usual practice. May all feel welcomed and cherished have a sense of being loved and of belonging. Lord of life and light, hear our prayer. And now we take a time of quiet in which we bring our own prayers. Lord of life and light, hear our prayer. And we pray for those for whom Christmas is a difficult time. The first year since the loss of a loved one or the breakdown of a relationship. For those who have to be away from home For those who will be working during this Christmas period. For members of the emergency services placed where they are in order to keep us safe. Lord of life and light, hear our prayer. And we make all our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 190. Angels from the realms of glory, wing your flight o'er all the earth.
the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all this Christmas and forevermore. Amen.